A major announcement today on Capitol Hill. In a stunning, candid speech on the Senate floor, Lieutenant Governor Ron Ramsey announced he will not run for re-election. News Channel 5's Chris Conti describes the announcement and what it means in the legislature, Chris. And Rory, there are no doubt politicians at work right now up at the Capitol who are trying to position themselves for the lieutenant governor's seat. Remember that he is also the Speaker of the Senate, a position that comes with a great deal of power. Today, though, Ron Ramsey was candid and at times emotional as he said goodbye. Stripped away of politicians and politics, this place is simply a room. For the 109th General Assembly shall come to order. But for one man, for more than a decade, this room has been his life. Uh, I've always been a pretty straight shooter. You get right to the point. He was not, it turned out, as he has countless times before, calling a vote. Instead, today, Lieutenant Governor Ron Ramsey was suspending his political career. So I will not be seeking another term to the state senate. The 60-year-old was first elected in 1992. In 1997, he became Speaker of the Senate, a title that also comes with a lieutenant governorship. Today, he said goodbye. It's been a true honor to serve my state in this way. I've said many times, I'm living the dream. I've never met that praise more than I mean right now. <clears throat> I'm living the dream. His tenure has been contentious. The staunch Republican often ruffled feathers even within his own party. Now, I'm the conservative candidate for governor. And Instead in 2009, he ran for governor. After that failed bid, though, he returned to the state Senate. While we fight a lot in the state Senate, there's only 33 of us. And so we work really closely together and, uh, you know, sort of go through a large portion of life in some ways together. His decision to not run for re-election will have major political implications. The lieutenant governor's successor will be appointed by his colleagues within the Senate, a position that comes with the power to appoint heads of committees as well. I know what a tough decision it was for him to make that comment in front of something that he loves so much to turn around and walk away from it. How determined I just cannot simply obligate myself to four more years in office. A political campaign and career which has reached its end. Whoever wants to fill Ron Ramsey's seat has less than a month to file their paperwork. We likely won't know who will be the next lieutenant governor of Tennessee until the next legislative session. We are live at the state capitol this evening. Chris Conti, News Channel 5.